salivate metal here with a very, very interesting and fascinating coin. Uh, actually, this is not a coin. This is a metal that shows St. George slaying the dragon. This is dated 1610. And uh, for the minting technologies and features back then, this is quite impressive. It, it is almost high relief. In fact, I would dare to say that it is high relief. And just some amazing details on this piece. We'll get a closer look here. And you can see the composition is just brilliant. And uh, you can see the spear of St. George slaying the dragon on this piece. A lot of great detail here. Very, very fascinating to see this. And this grade, MS-62 in this metal. And, uh, you know... Uh, it's it's fascinating enough to see this particular design on such an early piece that we see so common in the sovereigns and the like, and some uh, more uh, modern but or even earlier silver pieces of the 40s and the like and, and earlier, but to see it go back to 1610 and with such great detail and this mint state quality is just... Uh, uh, beyond stunning and beyond amazing, I think, for most of us. But what's really fascinating, in my view, is the other side, because I really don't know which is the obverse and which is the reverse. Typically, the, the side with the date uh, is commonly thought as the obverse, so we'll call this the reverse. This particular design is, you can make out, it looks like some rough seas and a, a boat, a sailboat. But what there is a story behind this, this is the rough seas, and what you see here is a Christ figure along with the disciples. And this dates back, this illustrates the biblical story of Jesus being awoken from rough seas to calm the waters. So quite a, a, an iconoclastic piece here. And, of course, I'm not sure what the inscription reads here, but if anyone can make it out, certainly post in the comment section below. But very, very interesting and fascinating to see this um, much detail in this, in, in this piece here. Very, very nice in this boat. And the disciples panicking to wake Jesus to calm the seas. Very, very nice. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Another look at a very fascinating medal from my friend's collection. And this piece is, um, you know, you can probably find it for about $2,000. But it's, you know, if you can find it, that is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.